What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another video. My name is Michael and on my channel, we try to learn something new every single day and just try to do better than we were yesterday. So today's topic is Monday motivation. We are at the lake again, as in yesterday's video, but now it's less windy. So it's definitely bearable. The weather is about 40 something degrees right now. So it's definitely still good enough weather to be outside and go out for a walk or a run or whatever uh, with just like a heavy sweater or some kind of long sleeve or jacket. And that's what we're gonna attempt to do today. So that's our today's mission, accomplish today's goal. And I thought instead of just recording me just running, I'll try to see if I can make a better video. So I wanna get better on video editing and stuff like that. I wanna make each video that I make better. So I'm trying to prove each and every single one as much as I can, as much time as I got. Cause I realize right now that it's definitely time consuming right now, as far as getting footage, upload it or edit, upload it. <laughs> and then uh, process it, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a whole mission itself. So I thought it'd be a cool idea to try to see what I can do with the GoPro. I'm, I'm trying to capture some B-roll, some cinematic footage, and try to make a cool little movie of Grey's Lake, and try to see what I can come up with, with the GoPro Hero 8. I want to get the 9, probably upgrade soon, but that's a different review. But let's go ahead and work on this video and try to accomplish today's goal, money motivation, do, uploading two videos in a row, two days in a row. Please hit that like button if I can do this. It's harder than you think to come up with an idea and try to make a cool video it's definitely a challenge that i'm up for let's go ahead and run today's fitness is try to run around a 5k and just get to make a cool cinematic video of a uh, great like let's go to the footage Walking on the Grays Lake Bridge here, it's by like maybe a point two tenth of a mile or something like that. But it reminds me when I first started running, I could not run this bridge all the way through without running or without stopping. Uh, but now that I can accomplish it, you know, tenfold, pretty impressive of what I've accomplished so far and what I came through. It's kind of funny walking on this bridge now and starting this YouTube channel back up on when I first started running. Uh, it's kind of funny, but starting up my YouTube channel back when I started first started running, you know, uh, my sister is actually the one that got me into running. Uh, she was never a runner. My other sister was a runner, but my other sister that got me into it uh, wasn't a runner. She was training for a half marathon and uh, she wanted some help or somebody to do it with, train with. So I just, I don't know why I did it, but I was like, all right, whatever, we get free beer at the end so I was like, all right cool and free t-shirt or whatever but then you gotta pay to pay to run I was like what well, whatever anyways now I love love it and uh glad I got into it and um decided to when everything else opens back up and events start happening more often and looks like the slow start open up but it's whatever anyways back to the cinematic footage let's go This park is pretty unique because this is actually attached to a local brewery here. I've been here once or twice. Pretty good beers. Definitely a cool to come support your local brewery and come out and enjoy uh, a nice beverage and go for a walk. <laughs> and I love how the lake is connected to the bike trail. Uh, the bike truck pretty much takes you anywhere throughout the whole look, the whole state of, of Iowa, basically. You know, we are right here and pretty much takes you to West Des Moines, Windsor High, Waukee, Cummings, Norwalk, Pleasant Hill. It can take you anywhere. So cool. Basically, what I, I basically ran most of the trails, not all the trails, but I mean like most of the Des Moines trails and the waterworks. And I actually ran this trail because I went from Jefferson. I did a team run from Jefferson all the way to Des Moines. Uh, about an eight, eight man team, women too, half girls, half guys did it and it took forever it's like an all day event but it's pretty cool and then here's like a closer up trail uh map for where we are right here and this is the lake that we're at right now it's just right under two miles it's like 1.9 miles 
three, what my Nike app says. But it's really cool that each spot, like each checkpoint, kind of tells you where you're at just in case you get lost. So you don't actually have to run all the time. You can take a bike, a rollerblade, take your dog out for a walk, or whatever it is, you know? Really cool, and I love how Des Moines is growing slowly to a bike community, run community. Uh, the only thing, like I said, I just don't like the, the, the snow, man. I cannot stand the snow. But hopefully we have an easy winter this season and I get going. So right now we're basically just right under a mile, 0.8 miles in, 20 minutes in. So look, we're getting a workout in. Well, I'm making a video, a uh, cinematic video for you guys, and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. So make sure you guys hit that like button. If you guys are enjoying it so far, uh, leave a comment below of any other parts that you guys like to see, and I'll try to make it for you guys. the bridge uh, that connected Waterworks Park to Gray's Lake. Uh, they just opened this up and just built it finally. Uh, they've been working on it forever. It's a good idea to connect the two parts together because uh, now you have two miles plus over here is like six something miles. I want to believe like a loop that has a loop uh, but it's definitely connected to the trails. Really cool area to come take some portraits or wedding pictures or whatever just come out picnic and enjoy the day they actually got apple trees out here and what have you and during summertime before all the craziness this used to be like a concert area for the amphitheater so now i'm just test testing out the view uh of the gopro right now i'm on a wide angle before you saw me it was just in a linear view so i'm do all the views here right now we got the wide angle right now the amphitheater in the back and then we'll change up to super view see what that looks like all right and now we got super view this is super view what it looks like going on here got super view and uh, just doing a review basically on the gopro and see what it looks like on camera looks good or looks too fish eye or whatever but this is super view going on right now and right now well basically we're gonna go ahead and walk around this whole track i think it's about 0 0.4 0 0.4 of a mile just under a half a mile i believe and we are right currently right now not sure if you can see we're at two and a half miles 56 minutes at a 24 minute pace so look at that basically almost did a 5k without even knowing it just making a video footage just making a getting out going out for a walk and getting some footage for you guys hope you guys like it make sure you guys hit the like button and let's finish it off and you know the best part's coming is a post-workout meal and you got to get to work go to work for a little bit and then edit the video upload it for you guys Just like that, we finished the 5K. Right at one hour, 10 minutes, three miles, and 3.15 miles, we did. Exactly. <laughs> and we did it one hour, so perfect. Accomplished today's goal of getting it done, getting a workout in, getting some footage for you guys, and just showing you know that I really don't wanna be here either, but I'm out here just doing it, and just grinding, and uh, yeah. 3.15 miles, one hour, 10 minutes. Got a good workout in, went longer than more than I wanted to. We accomplished our goal of getting it done. Yeah, Monday motivation. So stay focused on your goals, keep at it. Even though you didn't want to do it, just keep on going. I know that was a simple, it was simple too. Like I didn't really push myself, but I still feel like I worked out. You know, I did three miles, 3.1 miles. And that still feels like a good workout. You know, walking here and there, getting angles and what have you. But yeah, it was a mission. So 
post out work, I'm just gonna finish my subway. So now I gotta go to work. So now that I'm gonna work out in, I like to work out before I go to work. So I'm gonna go home, shower, get to work, get working on this video. So Monday motivation, hopefully you guys are motivated, going out there, working out. Even though you don't wanna work out, just go out and get it. Go out and enjoy the day while it lasts, especially like during winter, especially when this weather doesn't happen very often. And I'm gonna look at some properties, some homes and stuff like that. So stay tuned to my other channel. I'll be posting up my real estate stuff. And if there's something interesting, I might show up on this vlog. But until then, I'm gonna show most of the real estate on my other channel. And this is more of my fitness channel. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you comment below. Uh, helps me out a lot, motivates me, and knows you know, you're accomplishing your goals. And everybody's getting at it. And I'm helping others achieve their goals. And that's the reason I'm making these videos. I mean, I get asked all the time about my workouts and how I work out. I'm no lead marathon runner at all. Um, but I just love the sport of running and I love the feeling you get of accomplishing something that you couldn't think you didn't think you could do it's just a great feeling like today like accomplishing that was a great feeling like I really didn't want to be out here but it's a beautiful day I went out did it got some footage and now you know on to the day finish the rest of the day so get your workout in and then go to work and then you can enjoy the rest of the day so that's exactly what I'm gonna do until then I'll see you guys on the next video talk to you tomorrow